It's one year ago tonight that a teenager left her East Dallas home, headed to church, only to vanish and later be found murdered. And now for the first time, the family of Zoe Hastings is opening up publicly about their loss. Our Jeff Paul, live in Dallas tonight with their message. Well, Kaylee, it was right here at this Walgreens, less than a quarter of a mile away from her home, where police say Hastings was kidnapped as she tried returning a movie to this red box. One year later, her parents tell us while the pain has eased, her memory is more alive than ever. The, this, I mean, this is just little things like us taking, go, yeah. taking the kids down for popsicles. And if you ask Cheryl and Jim Hastings, their daughter Zoe isn't gone. She's still our daughter. At nearly every turn inside their home, you'll see her smiling face. One year ago, Zoe disappeared on her way to church. The next day, she was found inside the family's van in a nearby creek. That one moment does not define her or us. Cheryl and Jim have spent the last 365 days trying to heal. It's, it's kind of hard when you see other families that we know that have kids that are Zoe's age, that they're going off to college and having a lot of the experiences that she would be having. Police say Antonio Lamar Cochran forced his way inside Zoe's van when she was stopped at a pharmacy and later murdered her. Hating somebody is like taking poison yourself and then hoping the other person dies. While Cheryl and Jim are nervous to face their daughter's alleged killer in court, they rarely talk about him. It would be robbing us of our happiness and joy if we let him rule how we feel. And how Police say it was random and the two had never met. Yeah, bad things happen to good people, unfortunately. But and good people also must continue living. They focus on their faith and what Zoe would have wanted, for them to not drown in sorrow. It was her goal to make everyone happy and make the world a better place. Yeah. And they're reminded of that each and every day. We believe that we'll see her again. And now the Hastings say a scholarship is in the works to keep Zoe's memory living on. The suspect remains in jail and has a status hearing later in the month. Reporting live here in East Dallas, I'm Jeff Paul, CBS 11 News.